started out as a game farm, there was never really much uh, plan or intention of going into, into agriculture. We realized with water, with land came opportunity. We've broken into different projects here and there, and, and over time we've figured out that feeding cattle, fattening cattle, seems to be one of the, the bigger projects that we want to focus on. So we bought the first property eight years ago, and we've bought our properties ever since then. Good morning, I'm MC Pretorius, and I'm in the privileged position to be a part of the Agrico team uh, operating from Morimole in South Africa. I am currently working as a irrigation designer. My main job is to get out from the office onto the farms, communicating with the farm owners and getting project designed and set up from scratch up until where the project is running like you can see behind us. We are redoing a lot of what we had put in place to start off with. So everything from our pump stations, we've got Agrico pumps, main lines sourced by Agrico. We've got a mixture of overhead pivots and drip lines. Everything from dam liners, everything's gone through Agrico. It's always easy to look at the property on a Google Maps and draw circles there, but it's very important for us to put our feet down in the dust and get here and make sure that we take everything off the property and the topography and all the challenges that they might arise in the area into consideration when we design this project. When we first started discussing pivots, the, the concept was to power them with solar. We're off the grid entirely here, so we, we run on, on a combination of solar and generators. I mean, everything from the ground up has been planned by MC and his team. And we spoke to a, a bunch of other companies. These guys came to the party and said, well, listen, what do you want? How do you want to do it? There was a lot of options right down to custom pivot that we didn't get from any other supplier. That was one of our first challenges is we don't have a power supply into here. It's a matter of running generators or looking at alternative sources. Diesel's gone up astronomically in the last two years. We have a lot of solar energy. So one of the things that set Agrico aside from everybody else was the fact that they were prepared to customize a pivot based on the power requirements that we you know, brought to the table. That was probably the deciding factor. The fact that they would work in with our needs and custom build a pivot to fit one, our conditions, and two, our crop. Another factor is how hot it gets here. You need to be able to put down a certain amount of water in a short period of time, and the reality was a lot of other pivots could not do that. Talking about technical support and the importance of it, the cost of the crop outvalues the cost of the pivot in a nutshell. You go without water for 24 hours, in most instances, in the heat, etc., you're probably going to lose that crop, if not have a very negative effect on the overall yield. You go bankrupt. That's the bottom line. We have at the moment sand pits or suction points in the Mutlautsi River that we extract water from, pumping it into a holding dam, and then from that holding dam, distributing it with main lines and pumps towards the pivots. Regarding the, the gensets and the energy calculations, it is very important for us to get right down to the root of what we can do to optimize the system right down from the source of the water until the, the point where you actually put the water down on your crop. And to do that with the least possible uh, losses and as effective as possible with, with the least amount of kilowatts, which is costing you money and diesel. We started from fresh and the problem is finding the right technical support has been the biggest challenge for us. We are expanding purely because we have found good support from Agrico. That is the key factor. A practical example of product support, we had some wiring problems and a new brand new pivot, it's bound to happen. You know, I got hold of MC and his team and, and initially he had technicians all over the country. Bear in mind, we're in Botswana. The next thing, MC, through his network of guys, had a vehicle on its way to pick up a technician. This was at three o'clock in the afternoon. They were here at 6.30 that evening. The pivot was running at eight o'clock in the morning. In my opinion, uh, something that I've learned on this project as well is the number one priority for me is to have a good relationship with the guys on the ground and secondly, spending enough time on the farm as well and keeping in touch, keep your tracks on their farm and make sure that from the designing stage of the project right up to where the pivot is running to be available and communication, the proper communication throughout this project is very important from our side towards the client. 
The remoteness of Botswana is probably the biggest difference between farming in South Africa or farming in Botswana. You don't have generations of farmers that have come through. There is such a small commercial farming fraternity or group of people. You're very remote, you have to be self-sufficient. You don't have a John Deere down the way or a Massey or an Agrico down the way. I mean, everybody's in South Africa. You just do not have that support. So there is a lot of planning involved. There is a lot of money involved in being able to deal with problems when they come up. As far as recommending Agrico over everybody else, I mean, at the end of the day, not that I wanted to sound like a sales pitch, but the reason MC is here is we're planning another seven. So, I mean, we're planning another seven and Agrico's got the business. So, yes, without a doubt. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you learned something. For the next video, click here. And if you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel.